Caribbean insight, ready is dynamite. Caribbean insight, really super for spite. Caribbean insight, enjoy day or night. Caribbean insight. The parade route will be closed to the public the night before. And also like last year, the parade will not start until it becomes light out around 6 a.m. Very visible police presence. Juve celebrations that typically happen overnight instead began at 6 this morning. A move repeated from 2017 in an effort to help curb violence, which in past years has overshadowed the celebrations. I want to kind of give you the lay of the land here because this is kind of the entryway for all of the participants. You can see some coming in, some leaving. Just past that, one of the amazing costumes that we see out here. A lot of participants putting their final touches on those costumes right now. And then, of course, closer to us, you have barrier after barrier, police officer after police officer. And they say security is going to be tighter than ever. Celebration is called Juve. It's encompassing all of the people from the Caribbean islands. It's like the end of summer where you dance, you laugh. You eat, you drink, great festivity. The annual Juve celebration helps kick off today's big event, the West Indian Day Parade later this morning. Half a million people expected to show up to Juve. It's incredible how many people take to the streets, and that's part of what uh, the NYPD has been wrestling with in order to keep everybody safe. You can see that the bands here have already started to head down Eastern Parkway. This is part of Juve. They have to get screened just a, a little bit behind Grand Army Plaza before they can take to the roads here. And participants who want to hit the parade route also need to get screened. And already the NYPD has confirmed to us reporting of one gunshot, and there are social media reports reports of another. We have just learned that two of the four people who've been shot here near the Juve celebrations have died. So two people shot and killed, another two shot and injured, another woman was stabbed and injured. Still the festivities here in Brooklyn continue. Sights and sounds of Caribbean culture have officially taken over Brooklyn. The revelers have flooded the streets along with thousands of cops.
I'm Lady V and I hope you enjoyed the ride. Remember, you need to subscribe, like and share to keep the culture alive. I'll catch you at the next Pit Stop.